Welcome to our Five on Five. Please welcome back Senator Ron Wyden. Senator, good to see you, sir. Craig, good to be with you. So the U.S. sending about 1,500 troops to the Middle East as tensions with Iran continue. Is this a good idea? I'm very troubled about this whole effort. I'm on the Intelligence uh, Committee. I can't get into classified matters. But I have real questions about what exactly even happened with these tankers. And I was one of 22 who voted against going to war uh, with, uh, with Iraq. And I really would hope, particularly on this Memorial Day weekend, that we're careful about rash and precipitous commitments, military commitments to that part of the world. President Trump says Democrats need to drop its investigations if the party wants to reach a deal on infrastructure. If it was solely up to you, how would this go? Well, first of all, I was at the meeting or the meeting that was scheduled to take place uh, uh, last, uh, last Wednesday, Congressman DeFazio representing the House, myself representing uh, the, the Senate. I have never seen anything quite uh, like this. The president usually comes in, he shakes hands. He basically just stood by the door and uh, and had a fit, and I think it's really unfortunate. I came there in good faith. I wanted to work with Democrats and Republicans. We know you can't have big league quality of life, little league infrastructure, and I'm still willing to work with people all across the political spectrum who responsibly want to fund infrastructure. You've been talking about the president's taxes for a couple of years now. Uh, the, obviously, those inquiries still continue. How does that end? Well, first of all, I want viewers to know that a president releasing their taxes is the lowest ethical bar there is. I mean, everybody, uh, every president, every candidate has done this for four decades. Uh, I think it's going to end with the president uh, uh, in the uh, Ways and Means Committee getting those returns. The law is very clear. It's called 6103. It says the returns shall be made available. I think the president's going to lose in court. Is it good for the Democratic Party to have so many presidential candidates already? It's always good to have, uh, have, have choices. I think uh, that will get uh, narrowed, uh, narrowed out. And I think people really want to hear about fresh ideas that are going to turn the country in a different direction. Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Thank you. Much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Senator Ron Wyden. Senator, you spoke on the Senate floor last week about women's rights. Are you concerned that Roe v. Wade could be legitimately challenged in the Supreme Court? I'm terribly concerned. And for your viewers, it's really clear what's going on. The question is, is the government, after 45 years of settled law, is the government going to take control over women's health care decisions? I think that'd be a huge mistake, and I oppose it strongly. We saw some interesting uh, developments in the House last week regarding disaster relief fund. Is this something you're going to be debating in the Senate soon? I'm going to do everything I can to get that one dissenter. We're down to just one dissenter to release uh, their hold. The, the fact is that these horrible fires that we've had, the storms we've had, have hit Oregon agriculture like a wrecking ball. And so I've been working with our delegation, particularly to get the help for the wine growers. And uh, the storms hit our hazelnut growers. People love Oregon hazelnuts all over the world. We've only got one objector, and apparently this fella from uh, Texas, he's, I guess, Ted Cruz's former chief of staff, he wants to attach um, a border legislation to it that would be very controversial. Even Donald Trump is not insisting on it. So I hope he drops his objection we can get this help to Oregon agriculture. It seems like pharmaceuticals are something that, that both sides seem to want to enact some new legislation on. You're working uh, across the aisle with uh, Senator Grassley, I believe. I, can you I, tell us about I, this? I am, and it is the number one issue at town hall uh, meetings because what you have is a situation where Oregonians feel they're just getting mugged at the pharmacy counter. You know, they go to Walgreens or Fred Meyer or Safeway, wherever it is. They just get clobbered by these bills. I'm very hopeful when we get back. I'm the ranking Democrat, Charles Grassley, uh, the chair of the Finance Committee. I very ho much hope we can get a bipartisan package. For me, it starts with lifting the restrictions so that Medicare can negotiate to hold down uh, the cost of medicines. It's ridiculous that 50 million older people don't have bargaining power uh, through, uh, through that change, and I'm going to push it. You and Senator Merkley joined 23 colleagues last week in introducing legislation aimed at reducing bullying and harassment, including cyberbullying, at colleges and universities around the country. Why do you think this is so important? It clearly is a growing uh, concern. I hear it from, uh, from students on, on, on campus. And it seems to me that what this comes down to, and this applies online as well as offline, and of course, uh, much of this takes place uh, online, so every person ought to be treated with, with dignity. And I do think that uh, it's important that we build a bipartisan coalition for common sense policies to, uh, to deter bullying, and I support that. 
What about the three-digit uh, suicide prevention hotline you've been discussing for, for some time? We're waiting for the Federal Communications Commission to, to weigh in. I mean, their position just defies common sense. They're kind of studying it and looking at it. We've been talking about, look, we've got Lines for Life. We've got all of these programs that are just ready to go. The second the Federal Communications Commission um, clears it, and particularly to have so many older people, older veterans in many uh, instances, committing suicide, that is just morally unacceptable uh, to me, and I'm gonna stay at it until we have the kinds of services that our vets deserve. And I also wanna give a shout out to this station for being part of the campaign to end the silence. Thank you, Senator, for coming. Appreciate Thanks it. for having me. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.